Fitness. My name is Ifende, aka Miss Fit Queen UK, and we are here today with the specials of all specials. This is something that not only you have asked for, but everyone around the world pretty much has asked for, and that is the Blue Therapy aftermath special so what is it well just think of it as like a little reunion and it's because of you want to know those questions that are just gonna bug you for so long do you know why because of for the past six weeks you have watched these couples two couples go through their therapy on a very public platform pretty much we have all been a fly on the wall in terms of their relationship you know and love deborah and jamel you know and love paul and choma do they work together well, we'll see. And we are going to discuss everything with them that you want to know. So, before we go any further, I have to introduce my first amazing guest. Hello, Deborah. Hey. Hello, Jamel. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Amazing, we're here. Good, and you're too, oh, you look good as well. Can I just say that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, to describe you guys, I would say you're like the modern... I don't know, like, you're that, you're that funky, fresh couple. Sorry, I'm a bit old, so that's a funky, fresh couple. <laughs> it's not really a thing. But I know, Deborah, you're all about getting that bag. You don't play when it comes to that. No, ma'am. You don't, do you? <laughs> and Jamel, you're a lot more laid back, a bit more nonchalant, but you are still a businessman and you do your thing behind the scenes. That's right. Now, when you're together, it's either amazing, it's like music to our ears, or it's just total chaos. <laughs> just, just what we've heard and to go into that we're now going to go to your best bits and see what you guys have been up to for the past six weeks wait we're not gonna do that wait when your oh, friend needed you at 1 1 a.m and didn't you go go and buck him on am i lying that's a different situation how it's that's pretty similar i was talking about that's marriage. my boy best friend christina is a new person you know jason wait it's not in real life this is app like deborah always pops up on me just randomly, and I just find that mad strange. Like, if it's not popping up on me, then it's checking my social activity. There's nothing that I'm going to do at Afro Nation that you're not going to approve of, so you didn't allow me to go. No, I, I don't know I'm that. able to go because I'm, I'm fine. Like, if I told you not to go to Afro Nation, would you go? Like, I don't get why he called me here to be stupid. Like, it's therapy. You just have to answer the question. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. What did you and Christina discuss at 1am? Oh, my days. Did I just tell you? I did not stutter. I was talking about the show. Okay, um, let me see the text. I want to see the text. There's too many females around him, whether it's Clubhouse or his fitness, we're just always having issues about it, and that actually um, increases the trust issues that we have. Jamal, I'm going to need you to please read to Denise what it says on there, because I, I don't want to embarrass you, so just, you know, please, I, I need you to, to read it. What when your girl doesn't want to go, Hakkasan, sexy fish, it's actually the norm. Me and my girls, before we were in relationships, we took ourselves there, so I expect my man to take me there. She's literally got an expensive gift. Can't you just, like, wait? Why can't we do both? Hold on, babe, let's not do that. She asked me the question. What, Clubhouse, buying me gifts? Yeah, if I'm making money, I'm monetizing off it. Of course it's a problem. I will hold up my end of the, you know, relationship. It's up to you as a man to get us there. That's just my view. She told me that when she addresses the situation, she's able to acknowledge it and he just moves on. Do you get what I mean? I couldn't care less about your boy, your friend's boyfriend, this, this and that. Brother, well, whatever, whatever. maybe you should chat to him a bit more. Deborah does this thing that I actually hate. Like, she loves comparing me to other people, other guys. Honestly, just needs to stop. It pisses me off so much, like. It's important that people are honest with themselves and with each other. So, on that note, Jamal, I need to see the last three text messages in your phone. And you can do the same to me. I don't know why he doesn't want to bring me around his family, but it's definitely shady. You haven't even tried or seen me in that setting to prejudge and now say that because I'm loud, I can't meet your family. Babe, I know you. Like, don't make it seem like I'm not, like, some random boy from your past or whatever. Like, I know you. Ooh, okay. I know you. I know you, babe. I know wow. you. <laughs> First of all, how did it feel watching that back? Oh, it it's crazy. interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Bring back all the emotions, you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. Most certainly, I feel like, I don't know, watching back at it, it's like, it's like watching the show, I guess, isn't it? It's just a bit. This is what the millions have been. Yeah, exactly right. But this is your actual relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So, that actually leads me to my next question. You're sitting here looking all glam together, like a nice looking couple. The question on so many people's minds. Everyone wants to know, especially because of how it ended. Yeah. Are you still together? Yeah, we're together. 
Mm. I wouldn't say we're together. I mean, I would say that we are working things out mm-hmm. and we are moving in the right direction. Okay, so we've got two variant answers here. So I'm just going to ask again. Are you still together, Deborah and Jamal? Yeah, we're together. Okay, well, I guess you could say that. I- I- I'll take it. Deborah, are you sure, yeah? I mean... <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so the question is then, if that is the case, which is great news, by the way, from how we saw it end, I think it's more than fair to say that it was very, very, very rocky, tense, mm. struggle it was life, crazy. struggle relationship. But now here you are. How did you get from there in episode six to where you are now? Do you know what? I literally had to, I had to take a back seat and just kind of like analyze the situation and see, you know, what part I could have played in, you know, Jamel, you know, stepping out um, in our relationship. And I think when I came to terms, I had to really come to terms with it. And that's what was, that allowed me to kind of like move on and just, you know, yeah. Okay, that sounds very mature. I guess okay. so. I think we spoke a lot um, on transparency as well. I've seen giving her my phone password and stuff to help me or help her trust me. Okay, so she has all the passwords. Um, well, I've got two phones. Well, she's got one password to one phone. So yeah. Okay, how does that make you feel, Deborah? One password, two phones. I mean, <laughs> one's, I don't know. One's a business anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah, there goes the word, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I've, I've just, I feel like I've become a little bit more laid back. Um, and yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, right, and talking of business, Jamel, we know how you are in terms of Clubhouse. Just a quick reminder, we heard Clubhouse a lot during all six episodes. That's every single episode. Clubhouse, Clubhouse, Clubhouse. And there was a name that was linked to that, and it, that is Christina. Yeah. So Christina is like, I don't know, your business partner? Um, I don't know. Person, okay, if we're going to talk about it now, um, Christina is just Clubhouse friend, I guess. We're not even friends really and truly now. We don't speak. It's just, it's what it is. We're just Clubhouse, I guess. So it's fizzled? Yeah, yeah completely. Okay. Fair enough. There was a bit of an issue because of she would call that questionable times. What times? Like one, two? Is that right, Deborah? Yeah, early hours of the morning. Early inappropriate. hours of the morning. So I'm going to bring this to Deborah. Do, does that still happen? The late night calls, not even just from Christina, but from any other business partner or business friend. I mean, you know, Christina can stay in her corner. Okay, I don't want to give her any air time. So I'm not speak about her, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Fair enough. And then in terms of other people calling, does that still happen? The majority of the time my friends are on D&D, so no one can get through to me anyway. That's that. But do they call? I mean, me and Jamal, we don't spend 24 hours together mm. all the time. So from what I know, I don't feel like he's getting all these calls and stuff from people that he don't know. But, you know, it could be happening, but who knows? It's not happening. Okay. Okay. And Jamal, something about Nigerians being loud and your Ghanaian <laughs> and Deborah's yeah. Nigerian. So the thing is, is that we know from the episodes that Deborah has not met your parents yet. That's true. Right. So have things changed since the season has ended? I know you're still working on your relationship, but had things progressed towards that? Um, in terms of parents, no. Um, not just as yet. I feel like we've still got things to work on uh, within the relationship before she meets my parents. Okay. Um, am I open to her meeting my, pa- oh, my my siblings first? Oh. Probably yes. Um, okay. Siblings first. Yeah, definitely, definitely first. So stepping stones. So yeah, cool. I agree. Actually, I think I'm overthinking it because okay. I can just it, it, you know, I can meet anybody at any time. Do you know what I mean? However, I just feel like he's right. We do have things that we need to work on in our relationship, and so for that reason, I feel like we need to work on what we have going on first, and then we can think about meeting families and taking it to you yeah, know that another level. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. It seems like you're in agreement about it now. This is amazing. I mean, I'm accepting. You know, it is what it is. You know. So okay, I'm just gonna pick my battles now. Let's say. Right. All right. (laughs) As a woman, you know. (laughs) All right. So okay, let's give a scenario then. Family party. You know how we do. Da da da. -da, Food, jollof, whatever. And it's like, well, obviously that's your girl. Yeah. But it's the whole family there. Mm. Is Deborah coming or not? I mean, that's a conversation for me and Deborah to be had. No, ask the question. Though. Wait, really? Because I just really like, yeah, um, think it. Personally, right now, 
wouldn't make sense. But obviously, as time goes on, I'm sure we have that conversation, right? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So if it happens, it happens. If it happens, it happens. Okay. You just never know what tomorrow brings. That's okay. what it is. Fair enough. Now, sorry, Jamal, not to put you in hot water here. <laughs> yeah. But I, there's just this elephant in the room, and this is some huge four-hour conversation. At the end of the day, we all watched it on the episode um, where you were hesitant towards telling Denise something, and it's like, what's going on? What is it? You had a four-hour conversation with your ex. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. And the thing is, is that the nation and all the people watching this, we're not quite privy to that conversation. We don't know what quite happened. Mm. So are you ready to talk about that? I don't think I really want to open any wounds. No, go on. It's all right. Yeah. You know, we've moved on. Yeah, so I guess so. Um, four hours is a very long time. Let's just be frank. We all know that. Tell me about it. <laughs> we're trying to be fair here. This is your platform. What happened in those four hours? So... <sighs> In those four hours, we spoke for about three and a half hours, to be exact. And then one thing kind of led to another. It kind of got intense. Um, I think the comp- well, when we met up, we thought it was going to be very simple or just like talking about closure and stuff like that, which low-key isn't, was unacceptable. But... Um, low-key. Okay. High-key. Yeah. Um, unacceptable. But, yeah, just things kind of just escalated. Okay, I hate to stick it on you even more, but I'm just going to go off what I want to say. Four hours, closure, and you've been in a relationship for how long now? At that point? At that point, we were together for, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, a year, yeah. That's what I thought, yeah. So, okay, you're kind of beating about the bush just a little bit. You're still not quite giving us the tea. What happened in those four hours? So I'm just going to ask you straight, did you have sex with your ex? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. Right. I'm well, not proud of it, though, but... You're not uh, proud of it? No. Well, you already knew that. The public at home didn't. How do you feel it now even being out there? It's actually crazy. It's it's a it's a tough one to swallow. Um, I feel like... I don't know. Obviously, you know, we are trying to move forward from this, but... Yeah, I don't know. No, we're still talking about it, and obviously trying to regain our, regain our, uh, regain our trust. Um, obviously, as time goes on, we should be able to, I don't know. Like, I actually can't believe it. Like, I just, I, I just, I don't want to get into it at all, you know? But I, I actually, I can't believe that he would do that to me. Obviously, you know. So one time friends, personally, well, it won't happen again, so. I just feel a bit stupid. You know, by because I didn't listen to my gut feelings. Like I knew that he was doing something wrong, but I just didn't trust. You know how I was feeling, so it just made me feel like you know really stupid by kind of like letting him train his ex. You know, even though I wanted to just not be too controlling, so I gave him the opportunity to to train her. But it's like at the end of the day, look what's happened. So yeah. I know that's a sad thing to even say, and obviously it's out there now. But during that time, I believe you did have a good support system after the show ended. Um, someone that has come up quite a lot for you, Deborah, is your best friend, Mansa. That right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. look at me. You're even looking at your smile as soon as her name is mentioned. Yeah. So Mansa is actually here, as you know. We're just going to get her perspective on the relationship and on how things played out. Mansa, are you here? 